What's up y'all? I'm out here at the range this morning. As you can see, the first thing on the agenda is to check out a new tool I picked up. We're looking at the 357 Magnum Smith & Wesson 686 Plus. Gotta like it when it starts out like that. Let's go check his shiny wheel gun out. All right, y'all, let's take a quick look at this thing and then we'll have a little more fun with it. So, like I said, we're looking at the 357 Magnum Smith & Wesson 686-6 Plus model. Now, this is a three-inch barrel and the Plus designation is because it's a seven-rounder. So, we got a seven-round capacity on this. Like I say, three-inch barrel on it. Really nice stainless finish on it. I believe I'm gonna polish this thing up even more when I get back to the house. Not that it's not already pretty shiny, but it's getting a little dirty out here already. We wanna get her pretty back up. Not a whole lot to go over with this as far as what you get. You get a nice plastic case with it. You get the tool, of course, your instruction manual, your hanging target there, some NRA propaganda, basically just the standard affair. Now, a few more little things about the revolver itself. As far as your sights, you've got a pinned in ramp on the front here with a little red insert on it. And in your rear, you got a fully adjustable windage and elevation with the white outline notch on the back. Obviously, it's double action and single action. The single action on it, very, very nice, super super light crisp brake i mean that can't be more than about two two and a half pounds very very light single action brake and then your double action feels pretty standard heavy double action pull not a whole lot of stacking but there is a little bit a little bit of grittiness if, if you try to pull it slow but if you go fast with it pretty smooth pull on it but just a standard revolver double action really the grips that came on it are just a plastic clamshell two-piece type with rubber over mold i'll probably change those out to some wood ones just for a nicer look but that's really all there is to say about this thing the main reason i picked this one up is because y'all know i've got several 357s in two inch uh and some four inch but i didn't have any three inch non-ported so i wanted to grab one and saw this one at a deal and couldn't resist it with the seven round capacity i'm just going to do the usual shakedown out here today i'm going to check it for function which so far looks good to go uh, i'm going to check the accuracy see where my sights are set at those look pretty close also we're going to run a couple different types of ammo this pmc bronze 357 mag 158 grain soft point and then i got some 38 special 130 grain and then y'all know of course we got some boom booms and some other stuff all right i got us a cylinder of those pmc bronze 357 magnum 158 grainers i'm gonna put them all right here on this 10 yard silhouette just to see where i'm grouping at i'll probably run half of them uh single action depending on how that goes i'll probably finish it out on double well let's try to let's try to go a little slow and see where we're at here all right. All right, that don't look bad. Let me try these last four on double. All right, I pulled that last one for sure down low. I was trying to go too fast. I think that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. So not too bad. All of them are grouped in the center there, except for that last one that I pulled. So let me get us another cylinder full. All right, this time I got us a cylinder of those 38 special 130 grain Winchesters. I figured we'll get these over with so we can swap back to the 357s. Just to make sure these function fine, which I have no doubt they will. Um, I'm gonna put a few of them. I'm gonna put one of them here on the silhouette. Then we'll try these 15 inch rounds here. No. No. There we go. It's hitting a little high, it looks like. I notice it's a little high on this silhouette too. I can't, uh, that one hit about right. Let's move out to the uh, 25. I don't think I have but two or three left. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. So not bad at all. I can tell you what. 
there is an awful glare on that little red insert piece that's in that ramp where the sun is hitting right now. I mean, it's like a complete white, just, just like a flash right in my eyes. That's unusual. I'm really surprised there's that much of a glare. It's serrated and everything, but it is what it is. All right, back to the 357 Magnum. I believe these sights are pretty close, close enough to get done when I need to get done out here today until I feel like dragging the bench out maybe and tighten it up. But I'm gonna see what we can do at 50 out there. So got seven rounds. We're just gonna see how many I can hit at 50. Boy, that front, I tell you, that front ramp is horrible, y'all. That front ramp is terrible. No. I pulled that. Pulled that too. I think that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. What did we miss? Four? I think we missed four of them. So that ain't too terrible. I tell you, that front sight is something else. I don't understand why there's such a glare. Maybe I'll try to rough it up or something. All right, I got another cylinder of 357 Magnum up. I'm gonna run all seven of these in double action right here on this 10 yarder at kind of a faster pace. It's, this double action revolver is something I need to work on personally. I don't do it a whole lot because most of my revolvers I use out here on the range, so I'm always in single action. So let's run these seven right here double action as quick as I can. Not quick as I can, but at a faster pace. All right, that was all of them. I think I missed one. It might have been two, so that ain't too bad. That's something I definitely got to work on. All right, I'm pretty satisfied after this shakedown so far that we got a good one, so let's end this off with a boom. That's what we like to see right there. All right, I think we're going to call it right there for this 357 Magnum Smith & Wesson 686 Plus. It ran absolutely flawless out here, as y'all saw. I really didn't expect anything less out of these Smith & Wesson revolvers. Um, now, a couple little complaints I do have. Number one is this front sight blade. Like I said, it's a crazy glare on this thing. All I can really see with that sun coming off of this sight blade is a big old flash at the front of my barrel. I really don't understand why it's doing that because, you know, it's a flat finish on this thing. But like I said, I'll try to probably scuff it up when I get home or maybe even paint it or or even change the sight blade if I need to because it is pinned in. And then I think the only other complaint I would have right now is the double action pull on this thing. It's nothing horrible, don't get me wrong. And I mean, it's a double action revolver, so it is what it is, but it just feels a little bit notchy and a little bit gritty like it could use some smoothing out. So hopefully that'll work in. I may take it apart and smooth it out myself. But other than that, I think it's a fantastic revolver. Accuracy is pretty nice. First time handling this thing and with that crazy glare on the front i ain't complaining about that too much but y'all let me know what y'all think about this thing if any y'all out there got this 686 plus have you got another version of it let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on it if you did enjoy this video take a second if you would and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so hopefully you can get notified when i upload new stuff y'all take a second if you would while you're doing your shopping if you're shopping through amazon hit up that storefront link down in the video description you'll go straight through amazon like normal from there it don't cost you any extra money and anything you buy on Amazon after that, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. Take a look at those Axle Ear Pro links down there. I'm telling you, you will thank yourself for picking up some of them GS Extreme earbuds. You don't have to worry about them getting in the way of your hat, your earmuffs, bumping into your stocks, nothing. These things really have been a game changer out here on the range. You can save a pile of money going through those links. And right now they're even running a buy one, get one promotion on them. As always, I appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting this channel by watching the videos, hitting that thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button. And like I said, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this Smith & Wesson revolver. I got a pile of good stuff coming y'all's way, so stay on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.